I just thought this was a funny one. CNN's having like a mental breakdown about why they won't play uh, Trump's speeches. And the article is, no, CNN should not carry live broadcasts of Trump's live-filled screeds. I don't know what a screed is. It's just a speech or whatever. Yeah. yeah, but it's funny to... It's just like hilarious, the idea of see the, the lie in CNN coming out. Lions, like, you're fake news! But they, they go, so Trump did a speech, we're not going to show it to you, but you can just take our word for what he said. <laughs> all lies. He said all these things and they were lies and we're just... We'd rather not show them to you because we're trustworthy. Can you imagine going on and just being like... Uh, you go, oh, I'm going to listen to Trump's speech. Actually, Actually, I'd rather just have CNN just tell me it's what like, happened. What are you, a fucking baby? Like, first <laughs> off, if you're watching crazy. CNN, then, like, Fox is the next channel. And they are yeah. showing it, you know? So yeah, you go, yeah, oh, yeah. CNN, well, I'll just press the button and go. You're going to see show, it on the internet, show, too. Or, or if you're not an internet person, you're, like, some boomer or whatever, and you're, like, not really that online. You go, okay, well, I'll go to the one channel above here. And This is the equivalent, CNN saying that they're not, they're not going to show you Trump's speeches because you don't need to see them. They're all bad. We'll just It's the equivalent of, like, a dude that gets in trouble where, like, a girl's messaging his wife, and she's like, <laughs> I want to tell you, but something. And you go, listen, that girl's all lies. You don't, I'll tell you what she's going to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got to. <laughs> Again, CNN. That's doesn't. literally what they're doing. They go, honestly, this guy's a bag of shit. All you need to know is he was saying a bunch of lies. He's a liar. There's nothing he'll ever say that's true, and you do not need to hear that. I mean, CNN is in for four nightmarish years <laughs> if Trump gets back in. Well, what so are they going to do they're, after they're, that? Well, I'm just saying, if you're CNN, you literally you're like, yeah, we'll do whatever we can to not get him elected, and if that means we're not going to show his speeches, seems even weird, if they're though, not lies. It seems like it's a weird thing where they're sort of caught in a weird thing because it obviously is good for the blogs and all that stuff. I know. If Trump and wins. CNN is in a they're back in business weird spot. It's like so many business models because are Trump CNN, oriented. Or sorry, you know, CNN got rid of Jeff Zucker and they brought the new guy in and they tried to kind of tack back to the middle. I know, right? So and because they were doing weird shit, they were having all these right wing guys on CNN coming on. I know giving, you've been watching it, giving interviews. I watched them all, but like giving interviews, and you're like, I, you would have never seen someone like Ted Cruz or whatever on <laughs> CNN. Well, they're just like, hey, we're news. Yeah, we're just back to being the news and we're trying to get back to the center. We're not trying to be MSNBC. They got and they came MSNBC and they go, we're not trying to be that. We're trying to be somewhere in between. We're in the newsroom where they all get in the room together and he goes, I fucking love the news. <laughs> it's my favorite quote in the movie. Fucking news. <laughs> news guys just love news, news so much. News, 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 <laughs> news, news, oh, news, news, news. <laughs> But then now they're doing the it's same bullshit. Nothing funnier than like, because it's like it's just such an agnostic thing. News, yeah, yeah. right? Should be. We just love just the concept of news. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love. Well, they the think news. they're all fucking Walter Cronkite the, over there. There's the cheesiest, there's the cheesiest line in any movie or any TV show in history. I fucking love the news. <laughs> he just loves reporting news. Um. <laughs> Yeah, but then doing this shit kind of brings them back in that. That's an MSNBC move, not yeah. showing Trump's lies. That you go know, well, yeah. Like again, if you're yeah. reporting on the news, the, the in, this is my opinion. But if you are go, we're objective news, and you go, here's his speech. Then afterwards, you say these were the lies. This is he what said. we think is a lie. No, these were the lies he said. Here's why they're well, lies. That's what they kind of were doing before. But that should be what the news does. Not hey, this guy's such a liar. Well, the we're gonna spare you. Obviously, the problem is people weren't taking their word for it, and they kept being wrong about everything. Mm -hmm. Like even that like Ray Dalio guy. He kind of when he was like at the World Economic Forum, which we'll talk about in a second. But he went to the thing, and he basically was just like, listen, like no matter what you want to say, Trump was like right about this and this and this, and he was wrong about this, but he was right about a bunch of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Whereas, like, CNN, <laughs> if they were against him, he would have to be wrong every single time because they took the opposite position of him on every single on every issue. Every single thing, yeah. Like, he, well, the, well the, here's a perfect example. A couple of them. They just did... Uh, the NHS was adding like the horse dewormer drug uh, for babies and all this stuff. So it's like the, the, they went on the big campaign about uh, ivermectin. They added that as like a normal treatment and a lot of things after they just did two years of like, this is you're basically drinking. I mean, cow see, that's the one that made Joe Rogan's face bright green. <laughs> yeah, they exactly. took a photo of his and then they made him look green. Well, now they're not even doing that. Now they're doing like, <laughs> there's this photo of Joe Rogan. Trust us. It doesn't look good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can't show you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think he uh, tattooed a swastika on his forehead, kind of like Charlie Manson. We can't show it to you, obviously, because we don't want to like support that kind of thing. Because we're not that kind of news. But the idea of not showing the president's going to give an address, and we go, the president just gave an address. We can't show you it to you, but boo, oh, boy, it's, you know, oh. it's like Rogan's <laughs> fight companion. It's just on over there, and they go, uh, the president's talking. He's uh, he's lying. He's lying some more. 
he just called someone fat. <laughs> another lie. And then, and then and now another, that was actually a skinny person, so that's a lie. <laughs> And yeah, he's just doing a lot of lying, but we're not going to show you because <laughs> it's just this. It's just a screen with a censored sign and it goes beep. And then the two, but they just show the newscasters watching the censored screen like a reaction. They just go, <laughs> they're just sitting there with their jaws dropped, like, oh my God. <laughs> Never seen so many lies. <laughs> they have a lie count and just going, ding, 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 yeah. ding, ding. ding. Ladies and gentlemen, we're spared. This is a horrific sight. We are sparing you the quantity of lies that you are about to witness right now. Yeah.